Well, my chores are done for today. I got the smoker loaded up with a bunch of snack sticks. A few of my projects that I'm working on right now are on hold or I just simply don't really want to do them today. But the one thing that I can't put off any longer and I do need to get done today is putting out minerals for the cows. This year I'm actually kind of excited to do that because putting those minerals out marks the beginning of an experiment. That's what we're doing today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Months ago I got contacted by a guy named Carson from Redmond Minerals and they are launching a new salt block and he asked me if I wanted to try it. I get offers like this from time to time and usually I pass on them because it's for products that I don't think are of much interest to you guys and it's stuff that you know I, I probably wouldn't necessarily use if the company weren't sending it to me. But minerals for the cattle is a totally different story. This is something that I use and I want to get a better program implemented here on the ranch. And it's also something that I know a lot of you guys use as well. If you guys watch my video that I released around the beginning of the new year, one of my goals for this year was to improve my mineral program here on the ranch. The salt that I'm getting from Redmond is going to be a great way for me to do that. It's mined in Utah and it has over 60 naturally occurring minerals in there. But to be honest with you, that's not the part that I'm most excited about. What's really special about these salt blocks is that they are infused with garlic. Now, if you're sitting there and you're wondering, well, how do you really know that there's garlic in there? Believe me, guys, if you were standing right here next to this thing, you can smell the garlic. There's no doubt it's in there. And why is having garlic in the salt block such a big deal? Well, that leads me into the experiment that I hinted at earlier in the video. And that is garlic is supposed to help a lot with fly control, lice control, and various other parasites. You guys like garlic? I sure hope so. Flies are always an issue on the cows out here, especially in the summertime. And in the past, I've tried to fight this with uh, pour on wormer, uh, spray on pesticides and other things of that nature. Now, that stuff does work. I mean, especially when you first apply it. Over time, it does start to lose its effectiveness and you have to apply it more often. And to be perfectly honest, I, I don't I don't love spraying pesticides all over my cows, especially when they have calves and you just, you never know if you know they're ingesting some of that or what. And I'm always kind of skeptical about these natural remedies, but I've had a few people tell me that it does work. So, I mean, if I could control flies just as easily as putting out these garlic blocks for them to lick on, man, that would be awesome. So today we're gonna run around and hit all the different groups of cattle cause they're all kind of spread out right now. And we're gonna pull their old salt blocks out and give them the new Redmond blocks with garlic. Maggie just wants down in the worst way right now because we harvested steers yesterday and she knows that there's a bunch of blood and stuff over there in the dirt. She just dying to go lick it.
You know, I, I gotta say, I was kind of wondering if the garlic smell would put them off, but boy, you saw it, they dove right in. Let's go switch out the calves. Apparently this little guy likes them too. The other thing that I really like about these blocks is that Redmond mixed me up a custom batch so that I could sort of tell them exactly how much of each mineral I wanted in the block. And what that means is that now I only have to give these guys one block instead of giving them two or even sometimes three different blocks. Let's head over to the winter pasture and switch out their blocks. In the springtime, the fly pressure over at the winter pasture is by far worse than what it is at the ranch. And the only thing that I can figure is it's got to have something to do with the oak trees. I'm not sure if the flies like hibernate in the oak trees or if it just provides them some sort of habitat that gets them started a lot faster in the springtime. I'm not really sure what it is, but I mean, that's really the only difference between the two places. You can definitely tell the difference in late February or early March. The flies over at the winter pasture will already be pretty bad. And the cows over at the ranch, they barely have any on them. So I'm excited to get the block set up out there now because even though it's February and technically still winter time, I mean, it's 65 degrees today. It's starting to feel a lot like spring. So I'm thinking that the flies are probably not gonna be far off. You can see that the cows out here at the winter pasture, they definitely don't hit these salt blocks as hard as the cows back at the ranch. And the only reason that I can think why that might be is because out here they get a protein tub and that protein tub has a lot of those minerals in it as well. So I'm really hoping that that doesn't screw up our test or reduce their intake because I really want them to get a lot of this garlic salt in them so that if it does work, then, you know, it'll work. So now the question becomes what to do with all of these old salt blocks that I've got in the back of my truck. And you know, I've been thinking about this and I think I know somebody who might like them. I had a hunch that Buddy and the donkeys would like these old salt blocks and I think I was right. Every once in a while I get asked about Buddy, people want to know how he's doing and I guess he really hasn't been in a video for quite a while. So as you can see he's doing fine, 
But the strange thing about Buddy is that he's almost two years old now and he still probably weighs the same as he did when we brought him here. I, I don't think he's ever gonna really get much bigger than he is now. You know, which is fine because he's just a pet and we don't really need him to put pounds on. And actually, it's kind of better with him being small like this, but just something that I always kind of found interesting. I've never seen one just kind of stop growing and just stay small forever. Now that all the Redmond garlic blocks are out, really all that's left for me to do is to sit back and let the cows eat on them for a little while and kind of watch to see how effective they really are. I'm gonna update you guys throughout the year to uh, sort of track this and at the end of the year hopefully we'll have some sort of definitive conclusion. I'm going to leave a link to Redmond's website in the description below so if you guys want to check them out go ahead and go down there and click on it. Thanks for hanging out with me today guys and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.